some regulars like Shaka, a native-born Londoner with parents of Ghanaian and Trinidadian heritage, frequent the Spit Brick Lane area just about every Sunday. Um, I usually go to Brick Lane quite often. Um, I think every weekend, really, every Sunday. Um, I mostly go out to hang out, uh, mostly for the atmosphere. Plus, I have a lot of friends that actually work and hang out there as well. So yeah. Brick Lane now has become a uh, fashion, art, stroke, lifestyle uh, scene in London. Like So like a little pocket of something creative and energetic where people can feel that they can express themselves and be able to like dress how they feel and communicate with people that are like-minded. Or you get other people from the outside or people from other parts of the world come in and hear about what's going on in Brick Lane because they see London as a cutting edge city. Um, a lot of city people moving in here. A lot of people from outside of London are moving in here because they think it's, it's new, it's fashionable, it's trendy. A lot of people, uh, it's like uh, you got people that are like, Shoreditch House has just opened up. So you've got a lot of rich kids coming in, a lot of, you know, Trust the fairings are coming in as well. A lot of, you know, and that's what's come, That's what's happening. You've got Jasper Conran is uh, moved down here. You've got the Nike prop-up store is happening up down here. You know, you've got great retro stores and vintage stores like Rocket, Beyond Retro. You've got um, the Thrift Street. Um, and as well, on a Sunday, you've got excellent market down here. Not forgetting the market makes the area as well, as well as the boutique, so it's all hand in hand. So uh, that's what's drawn the crowd. It's drawn a lot of people that are a part of the corporates or a lot of business people have moved down here because everyone wants a piece of the pie. But what they do, they get it wrong. Instead of looking at the area, they try and build something that they think that is that they can think that they can fit into what's happening in here. It's like, this field, wicked, had a lot of energy, it was raw, it was rough, it was nice, but it had some nice quaint boutiques, it was nice and raw. But before you know it, this, these guys just moved in and started, decided to make it into some surgical, cleaned it up and made it look a bit whack. So now you have a younger crowd who can probably associate themselves or claim brick lane. So every generation can actually claim brick lane. So whereas my dad, my dad still goes there but not often. Where what your dad do? What he went there? He went there mostly for shopping. Like he used to um, go there to get like discounts and um, vintage stuff and wholesale stuff. So he used to really wake up quite early. Like I'm thinking like nine o'clock is down brick lane. So that's what he used to go there for. I mean, like I said earlier on, like um, it's like a melting point of cultures. So anyone that has anything interesting, it could be culture, religion, um, fashion, or even food, or anything, anything really that's different and distinctive, they can come there and get appreciated in Brick Lane.